Hey everyone, I've got three things that I want to show you about using the Kanban board in Microsoft Loop. It's more than just a board, it's more than just a way of managing tasks, but I've extended it a bit. So let me just start off by first of all showing you where to find that Kanban component. Here's a new page. I'm going to add a Kanban board by using the forward slash and then type in Can or Kanban. Choose it from the templates and we've got a Kanban board. Now it's a typical format, this is just a starting point and it's a way of using the buckets to manage the progress of a task. And you've got cards that you can use to um, add tasks. Now um, at the moment all it's displaying is the title, who it's assigned to and the date that you might select. And I can open up each of these cards and I can add in more details. Now these additional details are all part of a table in the background and so I can uh, also keep notes, I can uh, have uh, additional fields that I might add uh, and I can use them for various different purposes. Now I want to show you how I'm doing that for trying out using it to manage the videos that are in my queue to make. So let's close this one and take a look at the queue that I'm using or the Kanban board that I'm using. So I've got a list of different videos that I'm working on and the one that I'm working on right now about the Kanban board, it's in the In Progress channel. And there's something you might notice that's a little bit different to how you might have tried the Kanban board. Each of the titles in these cards are linked. So I'll get to that in a bit. But first of all, let's open up the card that I'm using right now. Now, what I like about a Kanban board and a card is that if I'm working on a task here, I'll open it up and I'm the sort of person that takes notes while I'm working. And so I like to you know, note down things that I plan to work on, things that I plan to, or the, the progress that I'm making, some of the things that I might want to research. And so I could be putting all of that on this card. You notice here that the card's quite rich. Uh, I've got a, a checklist and this this is something that only seems to appear when you choose the Kanban component when you are uh, creating a, a list of tasks. It doesn't sort of seem to seem doesn't seem to turn up with other different tables and tasks that we use in, in Loop. But this one's good because it means that uh, as I enter another item, it creates it as a new checklist. It is a task field, but it is adding that checklist type each each. Um, item that I uh, add to that list there and I can check them off as I go so maybe I've created a script and I've um, set up the demo environment here it is. Now uh, the other thing that uh, I've added is an additional field to show the different channel topics that I'm using. I've got um, Modern Work Mentor and these sorts of tips that I'm talking about but I'm also working on Modern Work Workouts which is more of an exercise themed uh, concept around productivity. Uh, so I have added those as different tags and I can choose between those as well. Uh, the other cool thing about these Kanban boards is that I can switch this over into a table view. Uh, so it's the very same tasks all the fields displayed now, not just what uh, we've only got two that we can see on a card, but now I can see the, the full row. Let's just tuck this um, a panel away so we can just focus on the page. Uh, and I can, uh, yeah, just have a look at all of those pages right there. I can just maybe full width this, expand the table. That's better. Got a bit more space. Um, now, uh, same thing, I could open up this as its own card and focus on just that item and fill out all the details. And you might notice that down at the bottom of this card is a dividing line and this is where I can add notes. So I've added a bullet point list, um, but there are other options here too for uh, adding other different components um, to this card. It is a limited list, it's not going to have the full list of things that you can add to just a regular loop page. Uh, but it is a good start. Um, now the other thing I want to show you here is that each of these fields you can use comments and this is the comments are, are a good use of um, passing of course comments about the fields but you can have conversations about what's going on within that field. Uh, so if I have a look at the checklist I've added a, a comment to this and it becomes a threaded conversation. Uh, so I could uh, mention someone who has access to this workspace. I could also say, uh, please update this by tomorrow. 
and um, and that will be part of the conversation thread or the the comments about that that uh, that field. Now, lastly, I want to finish off with this strange thing that I'm doing here, where I have linked the title. Show I'll show you what's what's happening here. When I click on the title, um, it's going to open a page, right? Where I'm going with this is that rather than trying to pack everything together on the card and, and trying to fill all that out, I mean, that's great, but, but I am using an entirely separate page to manage the task. I'm using the whole page as if it were the task card. Now, that allows me to put in as much details as I want. I can fill out this whole page as if it were um, just a regular, fully functional page in, in Loop. Now let's just expand this here. It is actually a page within this same workspace. So if I go back up to videos to create here, um, I can click through and it jumps down into that page. So what I'm getting at here is that the Kanban board, while it could store all of those details about each of the items, each of the tasks, why not use a linked page through to uh, give it more detail, use it like a full page, take all your notes and, and bring everyone together on the same page as you're working on those tasks. Now how did I do that? Well let's just go through to uh, another page here where um, it's the beginnings of an idea for another video and I will just share this page. So I could do that from here uh, on the page. I could also click share and click page link. There's one thing that I want to make sure uh, to, to be able to jump to the page and still be in our workspace. Uh, this has copied the link and it is available to all people in Webster Tech, in my tenant. Uh, but this is going to mean that when I open this link, it'll open it up as a separate page. Let me just uh, show you as I do that. Let's go back over to our card. Uh, we'll add a new item. So this is work, plan the work, work the plan, work the plan, and then I'm just going to paste that link over the selected text. So that is now a link through to the page. Let's click it, what happens? Right, so it just opens up that page within the workspace because I have access to it. Um, and if I um, wanted to make sure that it was only available, that link was only available to people who could see the workspace, then I'm going to choose a slightly different option or share the page link. Rather than using people in Webster Tech, I'm going to change the settings and choose people with existing access and use that as a link. All right, so similar sort of thing. Let's open up the in card view this time, select the text, Maybe this time we'll edit the link and we'll just delete that and paste in the new link that's there. So what happens? Click on that and it opens up the page. So there's uh, a few different ways of how I'm using Kanban and whole pages within the workspace to flesh out all the detail to do with the task. I'm not limited by just what I see on a, pa on a card. Let's go back to the card itself, right? I'm not just limited by what I see here, but I could use and put all of those details uh, and it be all on this page. Now, just the one drawback that I see with this is that if you put all the effort into uh, putting dates and checklists and all those sorts of things on this page, they're not going to synchronize with what's on the card, right? So that card is going to be quite independent of the page. So you're going to do one or the other. Maybe you use the card for just some basic details like what stage the task is at, maybe when it's due and who it's assigned to, but maybe you won't use all of those other details. You will depend on using the full page to represent everything that you are doing to coordinate activity for this task. Now that was a bit longer than I expected, but uh, I hopefully this has um, inspired you a bit with how you might use Loop um, the Kanban boards and maybe linking it through to pages within your workspace. And uh, yeah, if you're keen on, on learning more about that, then maybe you might want to check out another video I've got uh, to do with Microsoft Loop and using it to manage tasks as well. 
We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.